Hello and welcome and today we are here at Silver Lakes and not the one in Pretoria. We are around the corner from Featherbrook Estate, Silver Star Casino as well as Cradlestone Mall at number 663 in a secure estate. Behind me we have an incredible home retailing for 4 million 399,000 rand and today we're going to take you on a tour around it and show you why you should be its next occupant. Follow me because my name is Chad Riveros. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show and the last thing I have to say to you is Welcome home. Coming through your RT front gate, you'll find yourself right here in this central courtyard area. You've got a fire pit there. Could you imagine throwing some lounges down, stringing up some fairy lights and really enjoying this outdoor area, enjoying the fact that it's got access to the garden space right here on my right. And I love just how much space there is. So right over here is this swinging wood door that opens inwards to show you this stunning home. Now, this home, as I mentioned, space is the name of the game, but space that is utilized really, really well. Coming through the front door, here it is, your dining room area that borders on to the lounge area, but let's talk about the dining room area. Eight-seater dining room table fitted onto this stunning area rug. Now, all the furniture you see here, if you like it, if you think it fits this home, which I definitely do think it does, you can speak to the agent and get this home fully furnished and you'll want that for a number of reasons and we'll talk about them. But other than the area rug, another cool, cool feature about this that we see in a couple of homes but not nearly enough are these large tiles that, that makes the space feel more open and makes the lines of the home feel a lot cleaner. Over here, as you can see, roaring gas fireplace that you can enjoy in those cold winter days. The home is fully insulated however, so not only does it stay cool in summer, it does stay warm in winter. You've got space here for both couches. Again, the home does feel open and I mean, talking about space, take a look at the 82 inch LCD TV put up on the wall. You've got this built in TV decking or TV backing with some speakers in there, surround some speakers above you. And obviously talking about keeping cool in winter, you've got air conditioning within this room. So again, we've got a lot of big pieces within this lounge, but it doesn't feel crowded. doesn't feel like you don't have enough space to walk around in. And that's what I definitely like and appreciate in a home like this. And I think a lot of the buyers will as well. Behind me, we've got a kitchen area. We'll talk about this kitchen area. And again, something that a lot of home buyers will appreciate is this kitchen above me. Plenty of down lighting, but I love the artisanal bulkhead ceiling with those recessed lights turning the ceiling almost into an art piece. We've got beautiful, beautiful Caesar stone countertops both on this side and on that side. And then this home was owned by a chef, so you know that the stove is going to be top quality. We've got two, four, five burner gas stove extractor fan just above it and then the oven there. Really, really nice artisanal piece, all stainless steel and made by our Whirlpool. Then coming up again, you've got two glass display cabinets, stunning cream cupboard tops, all of them gloss with the stainless steel handles and then down below, contrasting off of that is all of the wood cupboard tops again with those stainless steel handles. Coming on this side, plenty of space for your double door fridge. Some storage above it if you do need it. Again, all these cupboards around here. And what kind of kitchen is fully kitted out if it doesn't have your very own chef sink? Again, with a little rotating nozzle, you can take it apart. If you're doing any washing up or some prepping, you know that that's done right there. Now you'll find these plug points throughout the home, including the bedrooms. All of them are specced for the new plugs that are coming to South Africa and they also do have two USB ports. So you don't need to worry about those pesky charger blocks taking up all the space. Or if you lose them, you know that you can just plug in your cable straight to the wall. Just off of this kitchen, you find the scullery area. Now this scullery area has under counter storage for three different appliances and gives you so much more of that cupboard storage and area space if you need it. Over here, you've got your double sink 
beautiful faucet, really, really nice clean lines that goes along with the rest of the home. And over here, exactly where you guys are standing watching me, there's a door that takes you out to your backyard area. That's exactly where you'll be attending to anything you'd want to put outside the home, but not in the garden. So now that we've wrapped up this kitchen, we've spoken about the dining area and the lounge area. There are two other living areas that I'd like to talk about before we head on upstairs and take a look at the bedrooms. The first is this sitting room area right here, makes the perfect bar slash just relaxing area. Love how spacious it is, love how well lit it is. So you've got all of this aluminum siding for your windows, you know that that lasts so much longer, so much easier to maintain. Beautiful shelving right over here with that industrial look in the wood. Air conditioning, obviously all the rooms here are air conditioning. More of that Caesar stone countertop, beautiful wood elements below. Store some stuff, you know guys, alcohol, my favorite thing to talk about in all these homes. And there is another really, really cool element that we're gonna be talking about in a moment that does relate to my favorite thing, alcohol. But let's go outside. As you can see, fully kitted out, lighting above you, all of it being down lighting. You've got some of that stackable aluminum sliding doors, both leading out onto your dining room area, as well as onto your sitting room area. Love that that's done. Again, aluminum siding on it, so it does make upkeep so easy. Let's talk about some other features of this home as well. One, you've got your backup water supply. So if you've got any issues with water in the area or any issues whatsoever, a backup water supply is gonna to cater to that. But a lot of you are thinking the biggest issue is generally with power. This home Home comes fully kitted out with a solar system as well as your inverters so not only can you run on solar you've got your inverters there so there's no issues if you do lose connection to your electric supply outside if you are prepping a meal for some friends some family if they want to come out and relax with you you've got again another one of those chef sinks Caesar stone countertops plenty of under counter storage again continuing the design element of those wood facing uh, cupboards really like that space here as well as a plug point for your bar fridge what outside bar area is complete without a bar fridge and right over here you've got your wood fireplace that closes all up with wrought iron giving you that clean design element then down these stairs you've got your garden so let's talk about the garden there's a built-in irrigation system again with your backup water supply you know at least that is going to be catered for completely beautiful beautiful green grass and then the crowning feature the, definitely a, an element that first caught my attention is this incredible pool over here blue and then you'll see these railings running across it now these railings are part of this system here the system runs very easily and cleanly all the way across covering your pool not only keeping it warm which everybody wants nice warm pool but also stopping any evaporative elements so you'll be saving your water supply and keeping it safe if you do have pets obviously this home is very much pet friendly you'll probably see those little fluff those little floof balls running around with me soon enough but now we're walking back up you can see just how large the garden area is and now it's time for me to show you my favorite favorite element of the downstairs area follow me and here it is tucked just underneath the stairs is your very own wine cellar slash cigar area so you've got mahogany backing that sucks up the humidity you've also got a humidifier and plug points in there and then you've got that backlighting on the mahogany framing that illuminates the whole area and really does make it pop out when you walk into the home as you can see you've got all the space for you to stack your wine and then shelves at the back for your cigars but before we head upstairs and take a look at those bedrooms, let's do a quick run through of the guest toilet that is located downstairs and talk about that double garage. Your guest bathroom is located just off of your entrance, both from the garage side as well as from your front door side. You've got your single vanity mirror above it, under counter storage just below, and then your window and toilet tucked away in the corner. When we talk about your double garage, you've got an automated roll up front door and it does fit two cars very, very spaciously. And now it's time for us to head right upstairs, take a look at the bedrooms, get to the creme de la creme, the master suite, and then wrap up this home. Coming up the stairs, you see the stunning wood lining all the way up the stairs really looks cool above me a cool little lighting element as well giving some life to this area and this is this chandelier right there and then behind me almost floor to ceiling straight up aluminum framed windows you've got your blind roller just above it if you do want to close it and give yourself some privacy so it really does liven up the staircase and i love that it was included i'm always a huge fan of lighting elements and that is one of my favorites then to both my left and my right there are two bedrooms let's start on the right we'll head off to the left and then we'll come straight through and here we go guys coming to the first bedroom we walk past a stunning dark wood lacquered door and now 
Here we are. So we've transitioned from tiles into this beautiful wood flooring. So I like that element. It does make these bedrooms feel a little bit more special, but also a lot warmer. I think wood brings quite a warmth to all the rooms. Right over there, we've got air conditioning and then two windows flanking on either side of the bed, bringing in that natural light above us, down lighting. And then we've got all of the cupboards over here. Again, continuing that design element of the wood features. A little desk here in case you want to do some homework or if you're working from home. And right over here, we come to our first bathroom. Now this bathroom continues as what we saw in the guest bathroom down below. You've got your single vanity, cobra tap above it, mirror below it, some under counter storage. On the left, you've got your toilet tucked just underneath the window. And then on the right hand side, Taking up the majority of the bathroom is your walk-in shower, beautiful glass facing, and then rainfall shower here just above. And now it's time to move off to the second bedroom again, a continuation of that stunning door, wood flooring, this huge area rug, really giving you a good sense of how big this bedroom is. It's almost a twin of what we saw over there, except now the windows are right over here. Again, almost floor to ceiling, double blinds, one if you want to just tint the light a little bit, and the second one if you want it to be completely blackout dark over here. Again, all of your cupboard space over here. Love the color of the wood. Your desk situated right over there. Air conditioning if you need it, down lighting. Now, this whole home, including all the bedrooms, come with a security system. Then you've got security cameras that are completely wireless and you can access on your phone, both inside as well as outside. So I love that that's been included here. Even though within this estate, security, definitely not an issue. Over here, we've also got your in-suite bathroom. Now talking about this in-suite bathroom, instead of the shower, you've got your bath tub, then your single vanity mirror just above it under counter storage below once again and then you've got your toilet tucked away in the corner just below a window now coming through this walkway we've got your linen cupboards placed strategically and very much out of the way but right here we find ourselves in the third bedroom although this is very much more an office space but could easily be converted into a nursery you've got your cupboard space right over here there's inbuilt bookshelves as you can see them floating off the floor there i think it is stunning these or this design if you remember, we saw downstairs in the bar area on those bar shelves. Love it. I think it is super cool, this industrial look. Air conditioning right here as well, although the aircon is just slightly smaller. And then again, another one of those three-quarter windows giving you a lot of light should you need it. And then above it, the blind is placed right there in case you do want more privacy. Window lets in a lot of natural light and does give you a view of the backyard of the house. But now, guys, now it is time. It's time for the creme de la creme because right over here is your master suite with your master ensuite bathroom. So follow me, let's check it out. And here we are guys, the master suite, huge room, really does feel like a master suite, does make you feel special. But my favorite feature of this room, it's actually this sliding door where you guys are right now. I think it opens up and lets in so much natural light. I love it and also gives you an incredible view of the area. Now coming out of that sliding door, you'll find your very own private balcony right over here. Perfectly sized for you to sit down and enjoy your morning coffee or just take a break and enjoy the fresh air, specifically on a beautiful summer day like this. Behind me, you've got your walk-in closet. Let's check it out. Your walk-in closet is exceptionally spacious as well. Every single wall is lined with cupboard space, but there's enough space in the center for you to put a dresser down or maybe one of those islands for you to show off some of your nicer classic jewelry. But coming out of your walk-in closet, you find yourself facing your ensuite bathroom and we definitely need to take a look at this. I'm so excited to see what they've done there. Wood floors come back to those stunning tiles. We've got your double vanity right over here. Plenty of space there for that huge mirror just above it. On my left hand side, you've got your own bathtub with shower head, window above it, space on the left hand side for you to utilize however you see fit. I think so many bathrooms are lacking space for the stuff people love to put into it. You know, if you want to put a wash basket or a scale or anything like that, you've got the space in this bathroom. And then again, so much space right here in the center. Where you guys are is currently the toilet area. Sorry guys, hate to break it to you, but it is private. So you've got a door there that swings closed, giving you any privacy you might need without having to close the whole door to the bathroom. And then the rest of the space is taken up by this right over here. Huge shower, rainfall shower head, stunning tiles in the floor as well. I love the patterned tiles. And that does make up the majority of this ensuite bathroom. But guys, that wraps up this four bedroom, three and a half bathroom, stunning home right here in Silver Lakes. Let's go, maybe go downstairs again. Let's go take a look at that garden and let's talk pricing and let's talk how you can become its next occupant.
And there you have it, folks. We've toured this four-bedroom, 3.5 bathroom, stunning home right here in Silver Lakes. If you'd like to become its next owner, what I'd like you to do is contact the agent that you see on screen right now. Their details are also in the description of the video. It is Johan from Yebel Properties. He can take you through all the steps it would take for you to be enjoying not only that home behind me, but this pool right here in front of me. But that does conclude this episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. From myself, Chad Viveros, the team at Private Property, as well as everybody at the Home Shopper Show, thank you so much for tuning in once again. And if you're searching for a home like this, be it in this area or any other area throughout South Africa, what I'd like you to do is go to www.privateproperty.co.za. We amalgamate all the listings from every single agent and agency throughout South Africa. You can find your home quickly and easily using our search engine. Thank you once again, and we'll see you next time right here, this place, this time on the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Goodbye.